1997, I went for a run in Central Park in New York City. And after the run, I went to a beverage cooler. I saw dozens of options, but I realized none of them was going to quench my thirst. They were all either really sweet or really watery, and I wanted something with one or two teaspoons of sugar that would bring out the flavor but not drown it out. What keeps me motivated in building honesty is the mission. You know, we feel that we're having an impact on people's diets in a positive way. We know that we're having a positive impact with organic agriculture when we can help these communities move away from a reliance on chemical pesticides and fertilizers. And then we know that through fair trade sourcing, we can help invest in these communities and help build their own economic self-sufficiency. So it's really, um, those different legs help uh, make it very easy to get excited about the brand. So every entrepreneur has to have, I think, three things. One is passion. You've got to have, you got to care about this in a way, and it can't just be a passion about money because there's other ways to make money. Uh, you have to have a, a passion about what you're building. That's certainly one. Another one is humility, and that means being able to understand when you what you don't know, and being able to listen and and identify when you're wrong. You know, uh, and then the third, which is almost a contradiction, is that you have to have this sort of relentless not just confidence, but this determination. My biggest inspiration has been my father. He's somebody who is uh, very disciplined, um, incredible uh, multitasker. So he's an academic, he's been a professor, but at the same time, always creating new programs, finding ways to, to bring people in to new projects uh, and, and, and sort of creating so much more than he could just through his own individual efforts. For the first 10 years of the business, we were growing. We had become the best-selling tea in the natural foods world. But in a sense, we were just selling tea to healthy people. And while that's a noble undertaking, it's not what we set out to do. We really wanted to make this an impactful business that could democratize organics. And that means making them available not just to people on the coasts or in wealthy neighborhoods, but everywhere, whether it's fast food restaurants, drug stores, convenience stores. And for us, the partnership with Coca-Cola has really helped make that happen. So instead of being in just 15,000 stores, we're now in over 100,000 stores throughout the United States. And of course, the launch that's happening right now here in London is so exciting for us because this is exactly the kind of access to markets we had hoped to get with Coca-Cola, and it's so fun to see it come to fruition.